Now you sure? Securing B. Oh, I'm pretty good. <laughs> You're pretty good, that's it. Alright, so, uh, I'm next guy tutorials, and, um, what I'm doing oh, now... Kid, you stole my kill. Hey, sir, I'm trying to do my introduction. Okay, no, thank you. So, anyway, uh, I'm next guy tutorials, and, uh, what I'm doing now is I'm joining a random game. Um, I found these guys in a zombies match, and zombies wasn't working out too well. So we decided to go do this in multiplayer. And um, so what we're going to be talking today about is uh, our hopes for Black Ops 2 and any other type of Black Ops series there may or may not be. And um, I think all of us are mostly interested in zombies for Black Ops 2. Wouldn't you agree, guys? Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's what we're going to be talking about mainly, but, uh, we're going to be talking about the multiplayer too. And, uh, maybe we'll get a troll in or something. Maybe we'll find a kid in a match and just troll the shit out of him. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. So, um, so what do you guys want most in Black Ops 2? I want to be able to fast punch twice zombies. Oh, that could be a good I think everybody would agree that that would probably be the most sexy thing they could add in zombies. Except for adding, like, Nuketown 2025 to the zombies map packs. That would just be even better. Like, that'd just be boss. Uh, but yeah. Anyway. Um, what about you and What about you, Sean? What do you want? In a game. Uh, I think what you said, it's obviously in Nuketown, that would be pretty beast for me. Also, I would actually like this to be uh, like, not hey, robots instead of zombies. Because some people were saying that they're gonna put robots instead of zombies, and I really don't want that because I think robots hey, are gonna Losing Bravo. Yeah, I, I think robots would just be, it would just be going overboard, and I think the Treyarch makers would probably know that, that um, zombies would, be, would only work if it was zombies, not zombie robots, because then there wouldn't even be zombies anymore. So I think uh, the Treyarch makers are going to be sticking with the uh, regular zombies. Um, I already know what the single player already looks like. But, uh, I'm hoping soon I'll figure out what the multiplayer is about, all about. And hopefully it won't be too stupid. I'm not saying it will be stupid, but I don't want it to be, you know, too stupid if it is stupid. But, uh, I yeah. Hope that what were you gonna say? I hope there is at least you gonna get, like, Higher than 11 kill streak. I can't wait to hit it, but I hope there is one. Alright. But, uh, yeah, so, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm an M16, I have the machine on my M on it, just for the hell of it. While I'm talking about sponsors and stuff, um, like in the last week, I've been getting messages from a guy in Yaosh. He wants me to join the Yaosh GFX department. Hopefully to get sponsored for a while. And uh, if I start getting sponsored, then um, the YouTube channel can change uh, quite a bit. I'm not saying like I'm not going to upload Call of Duty videos and stuff like that, but uh, I'll probably be uploading more frequently. And I'll probably have a little more... And I'll spunk to my commentaries. Because I know, I, I don't know if you guys think this, but some of my friends think I'm a boring guy to talk to. And it's, it's 
so if I get a sponsorship and I'll be talking a little bit more sporadic and stuff like that. But uh yeah. So um what do you guys think about the uh, multiplayer? Do you think they're going to be bringing back any of the old guns? Or are they just going to stick with new guns and stuff like that? I uh, thought there were new guns. Yeah, I hope there's new guns too, because some of these guns get sort of old sometimes. And sometimes you want to change the class or something like that, or you're getting green at the same time. So I'd like to reach and be new All guns and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that would be nice. I I'm thinking like they're gonna mix things together because they are in the game. They're gonna have uh, wood. I mean, uh, Mason. Not Mason. I mean, Woods is gonna be having flashbacks of his old missions, which will bring it back to the regular guns and stuff like that. So I'm thinking they're gonna try to mix them. But if they do. Um, it's gonna be kind of a hard task, because then they'll have to try to balance the guns as best as possible. Uh, but if they do do that, that'll probably be good, because, you know, it'd be kind of cool to have, like, uh, let's just use this for as example, um, World at War guns, just like, Modern Warfare 2 guns. They kind of look cool. It's like, going car 98k versus Intervention or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, if they do bring back the old guns, I think it would make Black Ops just a bit better, because in this Black Ops, all the guns and stuff were pretty much balanced. Um, some of the guns were just kind of overpowered, like the AUG and the FAMAS, but they kind of nerfed them over time. So now they're, they have a little less damage. I think the AUG has less of a fire rate. But, uh, yeah, um, so yeah, meet Stealing Third, he's on the other team. Top of the other team. Uh, I think we're gonna be backing out and picking him up. So, uh, a few fans and subscribers will hold on with me for just a second. I will just uh, pick him up. Alright, so we're gonna invite this kid. I think. I hope you can, that'd be cool if you like, you could like make your own gun. Customize your own, that would be pretty nice. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, like you could, like taking parts from other guns. You guns. choose your own sights and stuff. But you know, it would be sort of cheap too, because if you put the, like, the gun with all, like, firepower and all accuracy, so it would be sort of cheap in a way. It would be cheap, but it, it could be sort of like, um, I, you know, like the proficiency, proficiency thing from Modern Warfare 3. Um, I hope they bring that back, because that was a good addition to Call of Duty series. But, yeah, so... Make, make Call of Duty a lot, like, I hope at least, like, you could change your eyesight. Yeah, that, that'll that be good. Um, I liked, a lot of people in Black Ops originally liked the making your own sight and, con like, your own type of emblem and stuff. Um, everybody thought it was pretty stupid that they didn't put it in... Modern Warfare 3, but now that another Black Ops is coming out, then, you know, maybe they'll bring it back. Making your, making your old scope would be pretty cool, too, because sometimes in, uh, like in Black Ops, when you go to pack a punch and you reel, you get these all, like, these cool scopes, and I wish, like, that those scopes would be... What I think we should do is Treyarch should um when you pack a punch your weapon it should be about seven thousand points but then you get to pick uh, one attachment and a camo and a scope which would be yeah and 
but it had to cost a little more and you could upgrade it more than once. Not just for ammo, but for different attachments, because I know if you use the same gun for a long time and you like it, but it doesn't have cool, good attachments on it, it'd be good to be able to change those. Oh, that'd be a bad thing. Like, like what, if what if they have a special gun, like the ray gun, where you can put the red dot and stuff? Uh, I mean, like, for the ray gun, obviously, it's gonna be a little hard for the trailer producers to be able to kind of make that different. But I think they'd be able to do it. Um, they might be able to put, like, a side gun attachment to, like, to make it look, shoot, like, I think twice as fast and have, like, extended mags or something like that. Special weapon like the ray gun and the thunder gun. And I don't have that on my. I have like the original howl and stuff like that. Like I want special weapons in there. Yeah. Yeah, like four special weapons. You mean like more than one per map? Yeah, like you know how only only there's the only ray gun and thunder gun. There's only two special weapons in one map. Like. There should be like three or four, so each person can get at least a different special weapon. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, like, I know this... Everybody get a ray gun and only one person get a thunder gun. Yeah, but sometimes that'd probably be too much, because I know that the special weapons have like super special abilities to where it'd probably be an unfair advantage to the players. Um, so, I don't know how that would work. Maybe they should just well, do, I'm like... I'm really big into sniping. Like, I'm really big into sniping, so I wish they would, like, in Black Ops, like, you can't even quick scope. Like, you quick scope, and it goes right directly past them. And it, like, ticks me off all the time. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm thinking they're gonna bring the quick scoping back, because... Everybody loves that addition to Modern Warfare 3 and how they did not change that. Um, I know everybody originally figured it out in Cod 4. Um, they still brought it back in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. And I think Black Ops kind of figured out that that was mostly what people like to do in Call of Duty. I mean, sometimes it gets annoying when you're on a high kill streak and you quick to. But a lot of people really like how yeah, you can like that'd be cool if there's like a quick scoping match like where you can Vicky was only quick scoping and you can't hard scope yeah yeah like that would be pretty cool like, but there's a problem lobby. with that there's a problem with that they have they have face off maps in Modern Warfare 3 and that's practically where everybody's so I mean they practically already um, made it come out but if you really think about it, they didn't, because it's just, it's still hard to go from stuff, too. Yeah, people still hard to go, and it, I mean, they should, there's nothing you can do about it. They could probably make a setting where you're not allowed to aim down your sight more than three seconds, or something like that. And if you do, it automatically kills you. But it'd be kind of hard to explain to new players because I know new players to Call of Duty don't know what anything is, and if they were just to slap quick scoping matches in there, then they would be pretty lost. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they should make it like you can unlock it at a certain level, and as they level up, they can get the hang of it. Yeah, like uh, when Modern Warfare 2, they did the whole. Thing where you get to this level and you get this game mode. Yeah. And I, I think you don't get search and destroy until like level 40 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll, it'll be back. Oh, you get. In my world, you get search and destroy at like level 10. Oh. So it's still bring it back, right? Yeah. like it. Yeah, quick scoping was probably the best thing in like all the Call of Duty that everybody loves. And I I know everybody when they get mad at each other, the first thing they think of is a 1v1 quick scope match. 
which you weren't really able to do in Black Ops. It wasn't even a matter of skill, it was just a matter of luck, really. Because the bullets land so far away from your target that, I mean, it's just a matter of luck on... Um, and, and, you know, like, I'm, I'm trying to be realis realistic with quick scoping. Like, really, you know, you get a hit marker. In real life, you uh, shoot someone and they're dead with sniper. But in, the, in Call of Duty, you get a hit marker. Yeah, in Battlefield, it's like, like insta-kill, no doubt about it. All the way yeah, but yeah, be realistic here. And Battlefield, sometimes Battlefield 3 can get a little bit unrealistic. Like when you, sh when a guy takes like 50 bullets to the chest and some guy comes along with a medikit and shocks the person, he just comes back alive and acts like nothing happened to his nut sack. Oh, if you get wounded, you shouldn't stay wounded until you die. Yeah, if you get wounded, you should be like limping or something like that. But the one thing that yeah, kind of... Like, yeah, you like capped up. You couldn't run or something. Yeah, but the one thing that kind of scares me about um, people wanting different things for Black Ops 2 is they're going to have high hopes for it. And then, like, none of their wants are going to be uh, officiated. And that people are just going to rage yeah. on the game. Because yeah. that's how Modern Warfare 3 was. Everybody was wanting, like... It, they wanted it to be like Black Ops, but in the same way they didn't. Um, so... I mean, I, usually, I play, I play on PlayStation 3 at my other house, but, you know, Xbox, it's like PS3 has better graphics, but Xbox has a lot, like, nobody hacks. And the thing that I like about Xbox is um, when someone hacks PS PlayStation Network, and then uh, all the Xbox players got to play. And I was like, what? <laughs> you know, but sometimes it just kind of makes me mad about that. But. Well, I just don't want people in for Black Ops 2, I, I don't want them getting high hopes and then, then just now. not getting any of the things they want. Because some of those hate on it like they hated Modern Warfare 3 for a while. I mean, everybody grew on it after the discovery of Moab. But for like the first couple days, everybody hated Modern Warfare 3 because it didn't meet their expectations or what YouTube commentators wanted it to be. Because I know, like, White Boy, 7th Street, he'd be talking about some crazy shit. And then everybody in the comment section would be like, Yeah, if they don't have this, then I'm never playing this game. Stuff like that. So, I just hope those YouTube commentators don't set too high of expectations for it. Because then all the other players are gonna want it to be at their expectation level. And what they don't realize is that commentators, they don't give expectations. They give opinions and good add-ons that they, sh that quantity should add. Not that they will add it, but that they should. But some people take it seriously and think it's an idea and not just a, like, an idea. They, they think it's going to be an official thing, but really it's just an idea by a guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's just the only thing that scares me about Black Ops 2. I'm really glad they're bringing back the Nuketown thing, though. Uh, because Nuketown is absolutely the fan favorite map of all Call of Duties. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there, you can't argue that. And, and, you know, and you I want to play some zombies. Through the full lobby. Well, sir, I'm getting off here soon. I'll be on, like, later tonight. What time will you guys be staying up to? I'll stay up until, like, 50 o'clock. I'm gonna send you a friend request, okay, dude?
Alright, yeah, um... I think we're gonna have to... Oh, your yeah, friends yeah school. I was just gonna say, Sorry, I was gonna have to delete a couple people. Hey, call. Hey, call. Next call, Yeah, what? Games are gonna be able to uh, maybe like one or two more. Uh, just for another 18 minutes and 43 seconds. <laughs> but, yeah, so what else are you guys looking? I don't think we've talked about Black Ops Zombies that much yet. So what are you guys looking into for Black Ops Zombies? I hope there's a better light machine gun, my mind. Black Ops, I was hoping for the M60 to be on the zombies, but it wasn't. But I, it was, I was hoping for it. I hope it's... I yeah, I was just kind of liking you, so I can make out what you were saying. But, uh, yeah. The one, thing that, the one thing that I was looking forward to Black Ops is the, um, the M4, the M4 off of Call of Duty. Oh, get a triple for first kill. For OA1. I hope for more ammunition from the guns because guns like the Spectre and the Famas, they only have 120 shots. And plus, they have a lot, like, really good fire, firing rate, so they go through the ammo really quick. I already got a carry package, I would have been lost, so I'm throwing it back to you. But yeah, they really should not set their expectations so high for Black Ops 2 because I know a lot of people have been bringing that and I can already tell a lot of people are going to be heartbroken because Black Ops 2, the way people want it to be, it'll just be an unfair advantage for uh, experienced players. Everybody. Not even for everybody, it'd just be a, uh, too much of an advantage for experienced players. Uh, for a new Call of Duty, um, yeah, so, and, like, if you're a new Call of Duty player and you've never played the game, or you have little experience in the Black Ops series, then you're probably not gonna be doing too well, and it'd probably stay like that because all the MLGs will just beat you down. Because, um, the way that Modern Warfare 3 had its well, even the bad people could get kill streaks with the support. I I have an idea that will help that out. I want the rank. I hope the rank system will be different. Like instead of getting extra, you get how skill packet. you are and then like and like hey, come get you know, you play with your watch rank, how good you, you, you are. Sort of, like sort of like on Halo 3 or something, if y'all play that. Uh, the rank system goes by, like, how good you are in your games. And not by how many points you get in the game. Yeah, because some people, they don't even... Like, some of the noobs, they won't get a lot of kills, but they'll go, like, flawless or something. Like, they could go, like, 4 or no. And I think they should be a little bit rewarded for that, like... Just for going flawless, you should get like another 3,000 XP. And what I hate they did was that when you level up your gun, I mean, I like the idea, but um, when you would level up your gun, level 30 you would have like 5,000 XP, and then level 31 it'd be like 80,000 XP, and it took forever to get through it. I mean, I like how you don't have to get to like a certain prestige to unlock gold guns and then have to pay for it. But I mean, it took a long time to model for three. I'm just curious. I'm, I'm just like, 
if the Xbox, but how do you get gold guns down? Uh, 14 prestige, and then you have to pay like 10,000 COD points to get it unlocked for that gun. Oh, no, that was something. Like that. that just shows how dumb I am. Oh, so what else do you guys think should be in in the game? Well, I guess I want, but like, 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 if you, in real life, if you get stabbed, you really die, like, that would be scary. Well, it depends on where you're stabbed. Yeah, because most of the time when you, like, Call of Duty launch somebody, it usually stab them, like, in the heart, or, like, straight in the lungs or something like that. Like, see, I just stabbed the guy in the back. That would have just like totally killed his spinal cord and killed him in like a minute. But I don't, I don't think. And you know one thing I hate in Modern Warfare 2 is if it's Commando. Commando Pro. Really, you're gonna walk halfway across the map to kill them. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. You literally fly across the map and. Just stabs them. Ridiculous. Like, oh my god. I, I hope I'm Call of Duty 2. They have like better, better hacking detectors and not many hackers on there. Really annoying. Yeah, I thought like Black Ops had a little bit too many hackers. Modders. Oh, not yet, like, modders, those are undetectable, because they have a chip in them, and, um, the Call of Duty system only deals with hackers, and modding is totally different than hacking. Hacking is breaking into a server and, um, switching the game content. Modding is just modifying your player to where he fits your playing style. And half the time it doesn't even work. Like modded controllers, that's not even has nothing to do with the Call of Duty. It just depends on what gun you're using and the setting on the controller. Well, not really. Well, not really. Modding. I really don't. I really don't care about modding. It's not really a big help. Just like having a different gun. You're gonna use a SMKL. Modded. Just use an AK or something. I mean, the AK wouldn't even be modded, because, you know... Well, they, they're bringing back the AK-47, no, if you like, guys didn't know that. Like, yeah, like, having an FNF AL, it wasn't all that great. I mean, it took two shots, but it took so long to sh shoot two bullets. I mean, if you had a good trigger finger, then you'd be okay, but... Um, popping two bullets into somebody's face took a while with that kind of thing. Now with MK14 and Mine Warfare 3, they put rapid fire on it, which was the biggest mistake in all Call of Duty history. That just opened a window for modders just to be even worse modders. Even if you did mod, people still buy you a mod. That's how popular it is. I mean, most people say they have a modded controller, but they really don't. They've probably never even seen one in their life. But... That's how easy it is to trick someone, because it's... Yeah, there's so many of them, but... I mean, a lot of people just have a good trigger finger to say they have a modded controller. So people think there's lots of them. That's how I am. I usually get like the RSAS of the suppressor or something. And I just run around and shoot people for days and people will be like, hey, you give them on. Like, nope, that's sure to finger. Yeah. One time I had a whole, whole lobby because I was like, wait, I don't know why, but it is. 
Yeah, it's uh, not a big fan favorite thing with Call of Duty, the modding stuff. If you know what I want, like, this is so unreal, like, okay, I start shooting a person before they start shooting me, and then Well, I mean, Call of Duty thought of that, like, and they put hardcore in the matches, but I think they should have a game mode where it's, like, you still only get, like, two hits, and then the guy's dead, but at the same time, it should give you, like, your radar. Because I know in the future they're going to have those things where, like, you're on a watch, it's pretty much just a radar. And... Yeah, but that, that's what Call of Duty is about. Call of Duty 2, at yeah. least. I mean, most Call of Duties, people, all, all the pros, they just rely on their radar. The radar is everything to pros. I mean, if you didn't have a radar, you wouldn't have Moaz, and if you didn't have Moaz, people would be crying their ass off, because they're bad at the game. So, like, right now, I can speak to you. Is there, like, is there, is like, motion detectors? They should detect motion, not Well, I mean, with, uh, knowing, like, Knowing where the person is by firing the gun makes people want to put on suppressors. And if they didn't pick up the gunfire, there'd be no reason for a suppressor uh, other than just not wanting to make a lot of noise or probably like trying to ninja somebody. But then that would just mean the suppressor would be totally out of the question. Like, take it out. I mean, they could. I get it, but what? It's like in the future they can change up the attachments too. Yeah, they probably will. Um, but what they're gonna do is they're gonna make a site where you can see through walls. It's gonna look like a thermal site. But I don't like thermal sites. I know, but it's like in X-ray vision thermal site. Like. Like, it'd be better if it's x-ray thermal, and you can change it from x-ray thermal to regular, just by, like, pushing over or something. Yeah, that, that would be pretty cool. That'd be a lot better. They should, uh, give options in the sites like they did. They should give options in the sites like they gave in, um, like, the hammer site and the hybrid site, because I know a lot of people equip those. And they were a good thing to add. Yes. Oh. Hey, add me real quick. Well, delete one of your friends and then add me because I gotta go. Alright. Just gotta find somebody to delete. Yeah. Okay, so kill Raj, I don't play with that kid. I'm a friend. Kill Storm, don't play with that kid. Or am move friend. Next time you're on, we should do a zombie. We should. Hey, back up. We should do a zombie. Hey, back up. Back up. Alright, guys, send me your friend request to me. Alright, so we got five more minutes left on this commentary, so what else do you guys want to talk about real quick? Four days. Next video, we should make a gameplay video of zombies. If we're doing really good. Yeah, I mean... Probably later, but uh... But, like, we could talk about... But, like, we could talk about zombies on COD 2. It'd be like... Right now, but we could finish it. Like you could, like, hey, are you putting yeah, this on YouTube? Talking about stuff. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I 
and then we could be like finish our speaking on zombies. What what is it gonna be called? What what is it gonna be called? Uh, just go to my YouTube channel. I can't think of my um gamer tag. Just with an S at the end. Part, should put part one and, uh, uh, this is gonna be my 100th video special, so I'm gonna be uploading it after I upload four more videos. But yeah, so, um, anything else you guys wanna say, cause we got like three minutes and thirty something seconds. You guys really um, should check Spank out uh, Mr. Bet the Head 5 and Spanky 5400. Like, you really should because that's the best channel ever. So, in other words, it's your channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out of figure. Actually, as we were talking about New Town. Zombies in Nuketown. I think they should make. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's zombies in Nuketown now. They should make zombie maps and uh, multiplayer maps. So, so like Nuketown, maybe they should make it in like jungle, or make, or even make even a different game, make a different battle zombies. Honestly, it should be like this is. Find the map pack, like a multiplayer map pack for zombies. Honestly, this is my opinion, but I don't think zombies all that is all that great. Like, I really don't. Hello. Hello. I just can't deal with it. Our spy plane's in the air. Spy plane standing by. Look, I was just staring at his teammates. That's wrong. Friendly RTXD inbound. Friendly spy plane inbound. Friendly spy plane inbound. Destroy your equipment. Look how fast the spy plane is going. Oh wow, fair. But yeah, we got a minute, so I'm just gonna wrap it up. Uh, so yeah, this has been my hundred video special. Uh, I hope you guys like it. If you want me to do more of these, um, kind of like 45 minute videos, um, I'll be glad to. They take a while to upload, so I won't upload them too commonly. But, I will upload them if you guys request them. Uh, if you guys want to be in my game. If any of you of my subscribers want to be in my game, just message me and I'll friend you and then we can all get into a game. Hopefully I can get like a party of just of my subscribers that I've never met before. Um, that'd be pretty beast. But no, I don't like. I never. I will never want to play with you. Hate hate hate. Just kidding. I love you. <laughs> you're gonna be my. You're my boyfriend. If I was a boyfriend. Oh my God! Don't start. <laughs> Alright guys. Alright guys. So, uh, yeah, just uh, hit that subscribe button. And I will talk to all you sexy people later. Oh, fuck me. Bye. Bye, people. We're gonna say bye for another 13 more seconds. Bye. 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 Bye.